this site cannot be reached. Server IP address could not be found. So if you're getting some kind of variation of this error when you're trying to log into a web page on your Windows operating system, whether that's 11 or 7, and you're getting this like with Google Chrome or Firefox or whatever, I want to help you fix the issue. Now the first thing I want you to do is just make sure you're able to get connected to the internet. So check the router, your Wi-Fi router. Make sure you're able to use other devices like a laptop or a phone on that router. If not, then it's not an issue with your with your device. It's the issue with the router. So maybe unplug it from the wall for about a good five minutes. Plug it back in. That'll reset the router and then see if that will fix your issue. Next thing what I want you to do is especially if it's a laptop nine times out of ten when you're getting this error a lot of times that the date and the time is incorrect or the time zone so what I want you to do is go on the very bottom right of your browser click on date and time and then make sure that the time zone is correct the date and the time is correct change it if it if it isn't log out of out of your browser and then go back into it and see if you're able to get connected next thing what I want you to do is you're going to you want to delete the current cache which is basically the memory that's kind of current right now and so in order to do that it, while you're in Windows what you're going to do is you're going to do a simple run command RUN so what you're going to do to do that you're just going to hold down the Microsoft logo key on the very bottom left of your keyboard and you're going to hit R which is R is in Ralph so the Windows key which is to the left of the alt key usually and then as you're holding that down hit R and then you're going to type in the following command, services.msc, services.msc, and that's going to bring up this row of different things that are run currently. So what I want you to do is look for DNS, DNS client, and you want to right-click it, right-click on your mouse, and then left-click restart if that's an option. If it's not an option, then just go ahead and refresh, and then restart your browser, and then see if that will fix the issue. Now, next thing what I want you to do in Google Chrome, as well as any other browser, what you want to do is clear the, the cache in the browser. So if you don't have Chrome and you're using another browser like Firefox, go ahead and look up how to do this. But you're clearing the cache, which is the current temp or the temporary memory. So for, for Chrome, we're going to click on the three little dots on the upper right. We're going to go all the way to the left where it says Privacy and Security. We're going to check clear browsing data. We're going to select all these, cookies, all this. And then you want clear data. And then you want to restart the browser and see if that will fix the issue. Next thing what we're going to do is we're going to do a reset and clean up. So in Chrome, to do that, we're going to go to the three dots. Again, that's the menu on the very upper right of the screen. Go to settings. And then on the left, on the very far left, I think it's on the bottom, click reset and clean up. And then after you do that, restore settings to the original defaults after you clean up the computer, and then restart the browser and see if that will work. Next thing I want you to do is try a different browser. So if you're using Chrome, try a different browser like Firefox. It might just be some, some issue with Chrome today. So you just try Firefox or Opera. Most Windows-based computers has, have Internet uh, Edge or Explorer Edge. So use that browser temporary. You might need to uninstall whatever browser you're using that you're having problems with, like Chrome, uninstall it, and then go to Google on Edge, Microsoft Edge, and install Chrome again, reinstall it, and see if that will fix the issue. Okay, next thing what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that there's no extensions running. So that's basically like the little toolbar that has like auto uh, ad block and all that. In order to um, disable those, on, on Chrome, on the very upper right, you're going to click on the three dots, Go down to More Tools, then go to Extensions, and then whatever extensions that you have that may be on, it would be like a little blue, go ahead and check it to make it gray, and then go out and then see if you're able to get connected. And then finally, last but not least, what I want you to do is for Google Chrome is to do a system, to do an update on it, and in order to do that, you can go back to the three little dots on the upper right, go all the way down to Help, go to about Google Chrome. As soon as you hit that, on the very center of the screen, it's going to show the percentages that the Google Chrome is updating. And then shut down your uh, browser after that, and then restart.